Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. I look a bit dark on this monitor. But I look bright on that one. Ah, that'll be fine. Uh, let us know if you can hear me okay and... Uh, Yeah, let me know if you can hear me okay and you can see me okay. It would be greatly appreciated. Yes, fine. Excellent. Well, we've got a couple of little bits to do on my desk today. I'm supposedly meant to be playing GTA tonight, but I forgot to download it. So, I don't know if I'll be playing it. I've got it downloading now, but it's like 70 gigs. So, I'm doing my best, uh, but we'll see. So, yeah, I'm going to unbox this monitor mount first. Again, I mean, this box is looking a bit... A bit better. This is literally how it turned up, so it's still fastened on this side, but doesn't look too great. But yeah, I'm not going to hang about for people coming in. I'm just going to get cracked on. Uh, the main thing was that you can hear me. I will change the camera angle once we're uh, once we're good to go. All right, that's just a box in a box. Okay, we can deal with that. Cool. Right, so I I actually went for a, an adjustable mount, so it is this one here. Uh, they are called like a gas spring mount, I think. So basically, the the reason I went for this one was to give me a bit more freedom and a bit more adjustability, so I could adjust the arms wherever I need to. Uh, I, that PC here is right in the way, and it isn't staying. Uh, I am. That's getting donated to uh, one of my subscribers, so I'm going to build her a PC, and then I'm going to put a smaller version of the case in the background on the wall. So I am saving up to get a P1 case, and then that's the desk finished. Once we've fitted this, uh, we're going to fit the 27 inch today, and then that case on the wall, that's it done. Anyway, we'll get into this. Uh, I've never, never ever fitted one of these before, so this is going to be interesting it's not the same mount that i've had before i must admit so i'll fit this first and then we'll unbox the 27 inch monitor uh, i don't have an awful lot of desk room instructions i might actually need uh cable trunking stuff that's fine that looks important all right we'll get i'll get all this out and then we can uh And do some stuff that looks important if you're like me and you've got like an actual desk set up like you don't actually have that much room on your desk is the problem all right so that's that and then this piece as well because we're going to need that all right so that box box can get shot out the road Sorted. Right, then we need to, I may as well unbox this lot. Nice game and setup. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. How much was the monitor arm? Uh, 68 quid, I think, all, all together. Uh, it is more money than what I spent on the other monitor arm, which is currently holding that fourth monitor up. But, uh, again, I needed it to be adjustable because I won't be able to get the new case for a while. And I really want to run this monitor here. And I want to run the 27 on the side, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do with that case because there's just not enough room on the desk is, is, is the problem. So, uh, right, so that's on key. Some stuff. We have some offsets and spaces and so, so forth. Yep, that's fine. Uh, so that's that. That's that. That's done. Right. Instructions chat how's everyone doing uh, i will be playing a set of course buddy I, I can't really do more than one racing game a day at the moment i just uh I, i'm not getting into it but I, I just i can't do it so right first things first we need to assemble this that's assembled uh or do we need to disassemble it Hang on. Uh, 
And it, it looks fairly, fairly straightforward, like. Right. I guess, no, I definitely, I mean, it's not that much money, but it, it, some people are going to see it as a waste and some people aren't. It's just the way life is. I see going out drinking and going out eating food all the time. I see that as a waste, but other people don't, so that's fine. Each to our owner. Right, so that goes on like that, and then that goes in like that. Okay, that seems... Fairly simple, so we've got these two pieces here. Uh, that's, I've got no idea what they're for. Hang on. It's a good job this isn't a how to, this is just a laugh at me build this. Oh, right, no, that's if you. Right, okay, no, I don't want to do that, that's fine. Uh, where else are we? Hi, uh, Mark, you just described my life. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's not something I do, and I'm not, not nothing against it. It's just, I just don't do it. You, you can't do both. You can't do both. You've got to pick one or the other. It's the same as having a nice car or a track day car. I mean, you know, it's all choices. All right, uh, hi Mark, will we use without your headset? I can put a headset on if you want. <laughs> I couldn't really work out where else to put anything, so I was going to possibly hang on uh, and not bother doing this today until I got the new case, but yeah, it's going to be too far away that, so we're just going to get this done and then the desk's done for a while. Really pleased that the other setup really works well, so we've got a slight sound issue to sort out, but other than that, it's re ready for multiple gaming. Where's the monitor? It's on the floor, buddy. It's on the floor. There's, there's no point in uh, opening the monitor, is there, until I've got somewhere to put it, you know? Right, where else are we? Uh, thought you didn't like instructions. I don't. I'm a bloke. Of course I don't. Uh, yes, I use Nvidia Surround on the other setups, but not on this setup. Right, I bet it's amazing uh, on your rig. Well, no, you can't really do it like that because you can't play it over three screens. So you would have to have like three different types on, but you couldn't have, well, you could have four different types on, but you couldn't have the same film just spread over three uh, three things. Right, amazing to see how far. It's pretty mad, to, to, to be honest with you. It's, uh, I was sitting talking to Emma about it earlier. Uh, I think it was yesterday actually and it's just I was talking a bit last night and I was telling people last night it just, you know, I could literally spend all day just keep thanking everyone uh, it's just fantastic to see where we've come and I'm just so pleased that I'm nearly finished is the main thing <laughs> I know a setup this size is never ever like fully finished but you can be fairly close I'm just wondering is this going to go Small enough, or am I going to need to move the bolts? So will that go small enough? Right, no, I need to move the bolts. Right. Right, uh, do you, I don't play flight sims. I have got my dream uh, flight equipment, uh, which will be going back on the shelf soon, but I just, uh, I haven't comfortably found a setup to use it on that isn't a mess on. Each time you want to like put your wheel on, put your pedals on, put your flight stick on, then put your wheel back on, then put your flight pedals on, and it's just a mess about. Right, where else are we? Uh, you know about getting a chair for second rig uh, in the future, but have you ever considered selling the old chair? You can let me know. Uh, yeah, I mean, the old chair is definitely for sale. If you want to buy it, it'll be for sale. I mean, I can change it whenever, really. Probably just after Christmas, but I definitely, definitely will be changing it because the all the different people who who come round are all different sizes, different shapes. So that chair is really, really thin, and it just doesn't fit everybody. So it definitely needs changing. 
That was the plan, Capture. Unfortunately, that's gone now because we've got a dedicated racing rig for everyone else. So it just it just didn't feel right having a dedicated rig just for flying when I've got people that would want to come round and play racing and you know stuff like that. So the good thing is, like, even if someone came round wanting to play GTA with a controller, we could actually play GTA uh, on one of the rigs as well. So all right. Uh, Seems fairly easy this. Right, three bolts on there. Then you slide an arm on and then you slide Right, right, okay. So need one of these. Right, how do you put the PC on the wall? You need a certain case. So I use Thermal Tech Core P3 cases. Uh, but for that simu that computer there we're going to be putting that in a core p1 so and there's a picture of a p1 in the description if you want to have a look it's under the wish list all right so i take it this goes on this way and then that is spring loaded all right okay so that i'll go on there like Something like this. Hang on. Confused. What kind of price would it be? I, I honestly don't know. I would think around about, uh, I would think around about the hundred mark. I would think. But I would need to look at what they go for second hand and then knock a little bit off that. Uh, Right, so it does just go on like that. Right, okay. Evening, the monitor looks amazing. Uh, oh, this one's nice. I haven't actually unboxed the new monitor yet. So why? Ah, there we go. It's just a bit tight. Right, so that's that on. Right, uh, Alder, Mark, uh, I love your setup in the room, amazing. Oh, thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. Are you reading the instructions? <laughs> no. Never. Never. Uh, right, so does that one go? Right, so that obviously goes that way, like so. Cool. Simples. It's got a bit of cable management in it as well, which is nice. And then that'll be, that'll change with the weight of the monitor on it. Ha! Awesome. Uh, right, so they actually want to go, right, they actually want to go that way. So I'll just tighten these up for now, just so I don't, put the monitors on and then forget but they will obviously need adjusting and so forth but we need to get the monitor unboxed and uh, mounted so I think what I'll probably do first uh, trying to think of the best way to do this Because I don't have an awful lot of room on here, which is one of the reasons why I'm desperately needing to get rid of the computer. Free up a bit of room. Right, so they're empty. I shouldn't need them too much. Right, so sensibly, gonna be the right thing to do at the moment will be to mount the monitor. I would say. Right. I 
I hate holding monitors, man. Absolutely hate it. Right, so I need to get shot of that. That power cable can go down there, and that can go up there, like that. Excellent. Right, so you can come out my way. I know you probably can't see that much at the moment, but uh, I'll get this monitor mounted, and then everything should come a bit clearer, I think. Obviously, I can't see chat at the moment, so I apologise. So I'm going to go with the 27 on the left for now because, as again, the computer's just in the road. And with having dogs, I can't, uh, I just can't put it on the floor. Cool. All right, so does that actually just, oh, nice. Nice and sleek. I'll tell you what, this LG monitor, man, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Huge shout out to uh, Gambler, Firefighter and Ellie, I think. We're, uh, Ellie, sorry, Deli were involved, I think. I keep forgetting which three were involved. But there was a clang of them, if I remember correctly. The thing I find weird with this monitor is it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have like uh, uh, USB port on it, which for power and LEDs would have been nice, but it's not the end of the world. Awesome, right, so this needs to come out the road and go somewhere, I don't know where yet, but needs to go somewhere, so if I rest that there for now, that'll be okay there I think. I apologise, it's not the best angle for you, but it won't be for long. So the ultra wide's going on this one for now. Once I find Del Allen Key. Right, so that one's going on there for now. I don't actually know where it's gonna go. I'm trying to get where it's gonna sit. Because if that comes doesn't matter. We'll just sit it on for now so it's off the floor. Cool. Right. Uh, so the tension definitely needs to go up, I think. Ah. I don't think this monitor mounts enough to hold this monitor. Bugger. I thought I did measure it, uh, I did weigh it like, and it said eight kilo, and I thought, oh, it'll, it'll hold it like, but I don't actually think it will. So is that stronger or is that weaker? Hang on. Bear with us. I think that's actually stronger, so. Just 
bear with us. Sorted. Right, we've got a little bit of sorting to do on the monitor mount. How's chat? Sorry, I do apologise. Uh, hi Mark, how are you? I'm doing good, thanks for asking buddy. Uh, excellent, uh, this is the Ultimate Games Rooms. <laughs> yeah, one thing left, one thing left, and then we're, I can safely say I've had enough. <laughs> right, so the 27 needs to go this side. So, I just, there just isn't the room on the desk, I think is the, is the main problem. So, that mount needs to go, that mount's going to have to go like here, and the 27's going to have to like hang at the door, I think. Which isn't really going to work, is it? See, primarily what I want is, I want that bang in there, and I want that 27 going off the end. But... I think for now, it might make more sense I think we might have to go top mount with this because I just don't have the desk room until firefight hooks me up. Go up here with this. Right, so that would have to go something along the line of there. And I don't think I don't think this mount's got the height in it. It hasn't. Ah, sorry about this, just just bear with us, I've got some major room issues. Yeah, because I mean, I would be running this like, yeah, probably around about that height. So that there's no way that mounts high enough. Shit. So where the hell am I going to go with this? I'm going to have to get rid of this, aren't I? It's going to have to go on the floor, I think. I mean, love the mount though. Mount's brilliant. Proper nice. Right, that needs to come off there for now. This is the only downside to doing everything that I do live is if something doesn't work, it's live. <laughs> See what that looks like. All right, so then there should be enough room to run the 27 off there, but it's a bit tight, like, so how about we go? I can get that moved over there like that and I'll come down Loving the mount though, the mount's really, really nice. Yeah, the mount is super nice. I'm just going to change shoes over a sec. I 
Right, I've just changed yogurt to wide, bear with us. Did I get a smart ass comment from Firefighter or not? Teddy says if you're going to uh, go away. Uh... <laughs> I'm not giving away the ultra wide, there's no way. She, she can have the case, but she's not getting the ultra wide. Right, that might help a little bit with the view. just isn't big enough it just isn't ultra wide is bloody beautiful though See, I've got the got the bolt to put in. Right, that's good. I'm happy with that. That works all right. Right, where else are we? I need uh, I need these two cables back up again. Obviously, we're not cable management at the moment. Absolutely not. Right, so I should get chat back on here. Right, good. Next one is this bad boy. I'm just going to do this stood up, so I'll need to look, I'll need to lift the uh, I'll need to lift the GoPro up a little bit. I apologise. Uh, it's not an ideal filming situation, but it's not the biggest room in the world, and there's stuff everywhere. So I apologise. Well, this is a 27 inch ultra wide, uh, sorry, it's not an ultra wide, it's a 27 inch uh, 16 by 9 monitor from ASA. Right, uh, what paint can you use on my truck company uh, or can I use the pink, white? At the moment, yeah, as long as you try and use the pink, white and black, because there's a new paint job coming out and there's, some, uh, there's a few new rules coming out because it's just, it's needing a bit of, uh, it's needing a bit of sorting out the company, so I am going to sort it. Right. Tell you what, I really need a bigger desk. This is why, when we get time, we're going to be running a... Is that the actual monitor? Right. Yeah, when we get time, I'm actually going to be putting a desk in the garage and I'm going to be having a dedicated section for if we ever do reviews and so forth in the future. Uh, if I'm doing reviews and that, we can just sort it out in the, in the garage, which I think will be better. Right, so we've got a load of cables to be plugged in. Right, so I've got that, don't need that, don't need that. I need a power cable. Oh, the cheap sods, man. Give us a power cable, but no HDMI cable. Cheap, man. Sorry, right. look. Luckily, I do have spares. Excellent. Right, so that's sorted. Next job is to mount the 27. So, hi, right, hi, Mark. How are you doing? What are we destroying? <laughs> life. We're just destroying life. That's what we're doing. Does anyone know where I put that mount that I wasn't meant to move? Ah, oh, there it is. There she is. How else are we doing? I didn't get a smart ass comment from Firefighter, gobsmacked. That's gonna cost another. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right there, man. You're probably right. I had a really good race with my uncle, that was pretty fun, man. 
The only downside that my uncle being in this the room is now officially roasted. Jesus. So hot man. Alright, uh where we are you massive pot I don't mind pot noodles. I'm not that great with hot water to be honest, so I don't tend to if I'm on my own, hot water's kinda of one of them that I kinda of stay away from. Alright, uh, no problem, got that one, hello, hello, well a massive hello to everybody because there's a lot of people in here and I've not actually spoke to anyone so I apologise, but uh, if you see Firefighter in the chat it's all his fault, just blame him. So yeah, I've got about 60 gig to try and download in an hour and a half, so I might not be on GTA tonight. Uh, but just with my uncle coming around and that, and uh, and just, I don't know, I just completely, completely forgot that I was meant to be downloading the game. So, I might need to tighten that a bit. It seems fairly strong. I do quite, I quite like the mount. Uh, I would definitely, I bought a really cheap mount previously to this uh, for me, my other desk setup that I used to run. And I've got to say, you can definitely see the quality in a little bit more money. Uh, so if, if you're looking at a really cheap mount and there's one for like 10, 15 quid more, I, I would highly recommend going for the one that's a little bit more money. I, I, after what I've got here, I've been quite surprised. Alright, I don't really want to push on the screen to lift it up, but... <laughs> I've gone ass about face with this. Jesus Christ, that's a thin bezel. My God. Cool. Alright, so... I don't know how we're going to work this at the moment, but I'm not running that angle. <laughs> uh, we'll sort some out, but I'll need to. We'll need to have a bit of a mess about, I think. But anyway, I've got lock bolts to put in the back, so apparently. Cool, like it. So yeah, that whole setup will get moved down once I get a new. Uh, a new mount for it so I just need to find these these bolts where did we put the destructions just bear with me a second and we'll get it turned on and see what it's like I'm leaving this is not fair <laughs> bye P1 sort all your problems man uh, right, you're just listening, not watching uh, as... I thought you said insulting the spare room there. I was being like, how are you insulting it? Calling it, like, ugly and that. Right, there should be some sort of lock bolt, apparently. Ah, G. G. What's, what's G? Two times G. Right. We've got two Gs, apparently. Anyone seen two Gs? Right, well, it's definitely not them. Ah, ha <laughs> here they are, man. Firefighter is finally, uh, <laughs> uh, what case is for the desk? If you go and have a look in the wish list in the uh, description, it's, it's in there. It's basically the same as the one on the back wall, but it's a P1. So the one on the back wall is actually a P3, I think. I can't really remember, but it's one of them. It's one of the P's. Obviously that has a smaller motherboard in it, that computer, so... Right. Right, I'm liking it, I just... The problem is I can't run...
So I, I, I can't run this one flat because obviously there'll be a big gap in the middle. So I'm just trying to work out how I get that gap closer. I didn't want to run as much angle, if, if you know what I mean. So, it just, it'll just take a bit of getting used to. The height adjustable thing is mad. How do I shut that gap? Monitor's nice. Yeah, monitor is super, super nice looking. Yeah, I like that, right. I need to shut the door on that gap, man. So I think the best way to do it is, how we doing on the chat? Delhi, uh, is that true? He loves Mark too much to leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because he's coming down to my house uh, in a couple of months, so that'll be why. Why not run? Well, even if I ran it port rate, it would still have the same problem. If, if I want to shut the gap between the monitor, you have to run an angle on it. So now this is at like a 45 degree angle and I, I don't really want to run an angle. I kind of want to run them quite laid back. So I've got, I've got an idea, but just bear with me. Bear in mind, I am live, so uh, trying little ideas and that, I need to do it live. So just hang on. I'm going to try something with this mount, which might let me get it a bit flatter. I think. I think I've got this. All right. Ben, uh, basically YouTube now, buddy. Got a couple of sponsors on board, and uh, yeah, just just basically YouTube. Right, uh, how much is your electric bill? Uh, I think last month it was about seventy, I think, but it, I think this month it'll be about eighty or eighty eighty ish. It's normally about eighty a month. Uh, we don't have electric heat or anything, so yeah, it's normally with me being in twenty four hours a day, it's about eighty pound a month. Right, so we'll run that there, and that should give us a bit of a, a, a lesser angle. Right, 140 off. Oh, really? That's not bad. I pay that on the farm. <laughs> Right. It's a really nice monitor though. Yeah, super, super nice. Nah, still the same. Uh, Trying to, sorry, <laughs> I should really do this all in my own time, but uh, I kind of want to know if I can do away with that smaller arm. PC fans look amazing. I know, I really want to go RGB fans on the big computer because it doesn't have them on either. So... Right, uh, I'm just wondering if I can move, move this. Right, uh, desk looks nice. Yeah, we've had this desk a while now, I must admit. Uh, it's certainly done us well. I got this desk in the other place and uh, we've, we've had it for a good while now, like, God, Jesus Christ. See, I'm wondering if if these are the same. Sometimes they aren't. So I'm just wondering if I can take this off. But it might not work that way, but it might. Uh, it means I could shorten the mount. I'm just going to try it anyway. If it doesn't work, I can put it back to normal. We'll turn it on and that'll be it. But I'm kind of hoping. I 
That's a big ass screw that. Right, so kinda hoping this will go back on to this piece. Right, where else are we? Jesus, why is that so bloody tight? I mean, I'm not the strongest person in the world, I must admit. But... My God, that's not coming off. I can't see that coming off, man. No. Bugger, right. We'll have to go the way it was, unfortunately. I'm not happy about it, but the problem is, even with more room on the desk, it's not going to solve the problem of having to run the side monitor at quite a steep angle. So a little bit gutted about that, man. But not the end of the world. Still a good mount, it's just... Mm. Yeah, it's fine. A few, few trolls in the night, man, Jesus. <laughs> a few trolls in the night. I missed, I don't think I did the uh, Daniel, mate. To the guy keep messaging my steam, I haven't missed anything. Right. Back to how it was. Right, uh, how do I get a spanner? Uh, I don't need any at the moment, mate. I've got enough spanners in the chat, to be honest. <laughs> you like the wallpaper? Yeah, it, does, it doesn't look that good on the GoPro, I must admit. Uh, it does definitely look better in real life than what it does look on the GoPro. Get it plugged in, will we? I think it's the next step. So yeah, that's. I would say that's like a 90 degree angle that I'm going to have to run on that, which I'm just not keen on having to run that steeper angle on it, to be honest, but there might be another way. Right, I'm going to get it plugged in anyway so we can try it out. Get rid of that, get rid of that. There was a black screw thing that we moved that I need to put back in, but I don't know what I've done with it. Right, so, straighten that up a bit. Straighten that up a bit. Cool, right, there's a black little knob thing called Firefighter, lol. Oh god, I'm funny. Well, at least I think I'm funny anyway. Right, so, HDMI cable, which I have got right here. I'll need to order some more, <laughs> probably. Ah, that's the thing, actually. I don't... Oh, shite. I don't have... Uh, hang on. This might work. I don't have a, uh, I don't have any HDMI converters. I completely forgot to pick one up. Is that a VGA cable? Are you insane? Okay, right, I'm not going to be able to plug it in, actually. Uh, might be able to... I'll tell you what. Right. I'll need to order another one of these. I've 
I've just robbed it out of the computer. Right, how we doing? Uh, VGA, I mean, Jesus Christ. Who the hell even owns a VGA monitor anymore? Who even, even if you own a VGA monitor, you don't use it. That would make you mad. I don't even know if this computer is going to run an ultra wide and a second monitor and game. <laughs> it's not got that much power. Right. Power brick. I mean, to be honest with you, right, if, if I get rid of the computer and put that on the wall, if I move this monitor back to the middle and then run this one at an angle on that side, it will actually look all right, to be honest. So I'm not actually too good. I just want to make sure it works. <laughs> No, I, I do like it, it's just, it's coming in through the door, it's going to look a bit, bit weird. Hiya Master, how you doing? Jesse, how you doing buddy? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll need to buy some more cables, but uh, I can't wait a bit. What I'll do is I'll just steal, I'll steal a cable out the other rig when I want to use the desk, and then put the cable back when I want to use it. The other rig, if that makes any sense. Right, we're not doing cable management, we're just doing does it turn on? That's what we're doing. It is nice, like, and my god, they line up well. They really do actually line up really well. It'll take a bit of, it'll take a bit of tweaking, like, I must admit. I think a couple of the things need tightening up as well, so we'll get it. Right, cable is not connected. I'll have you know it is connected. Sorry, I'm just having a slight argument with a computer. Do you have any buttons out on here? Oh, yeah. Right, how come you've moved house? Uh, I couldn't stream late. So, and I wanted to run. What? It is connected though. Yeah, I wanted to run another rig in here. Uh, obviously, oh, there we go. Yeah, so I wanted to run another rig in here so I could have other my friends round and so forth, you know, as well. But the main thing was I couldn't stream on a night. It was doing me heading. Uh, so, what's nice that? We've got like a menu button there. Right, so if we do. It's a colour management. I need to sort that out because the colours are way off. Right, brightness. Right, we'll go with that. Right. Excellent. Uh, right, where else are we? Hello. Uh, I like the mic, Mark, it is worth the money. Oh, I'm really pleased with the mics. Uh, I, I know, I don't know, I'm, I'm maybe he's not using them right. I, 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 it's taking a bit of getting used to it, to be honest with you, but I, I am liking them. I, I'm still not a massive fan of how much angle I need to run on this. I just, I, <laughs> yeah. But the only really way to do it is to push that back a bit and then to bring this one 
I think you'll have to go. I think you have to go out that way, I think. And then over like this, and then that'll bring this one further forward. Like that, and that brings it quite far away from the wall, is one of the things I don't like. Just not a big fan of that. And then obviously, I have to go back in with the angle on this one. Yeah, it's going to be one of them things that is going to take a good while. I mean, that goes like flat against the wall, which I really do like. Which is super nice, but then this one is like a massive gap between them. So I don't know. We'll we'll sort it out. It's not an issue. There'll be a way. There'll be a way to get it right. I would imagine. Uh, I just don't know how yet. All right. Uh, will you be able to play? Yeah. Well, meant to be played it tonight, but I've still got 60 gig to download. So I'm gonna go and put it on now while I'm downloading. But I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to disappear. So a massive shout out to Nathan for hooking us up with this. I really, really appreciate it. He knows who he is. Uh, the monitor stand, as I say, brilliant. I can't recommend it enough. But uh, there's definitely some like... There's definitely something that I'm missing. Uh, so I'm going to have a little look into that and see what I can do to get it right. But it's definitely still worth the money. And it is, it is definitely worth it. It's fantastic. But uh, it'll just take a bit of getting used to, so. Right, can you not move the mount more behind the... No. No, I know I know what you mean, but y y you can't, unfortunately. So, anyway, I'm going to disappear. Thanks again for joining. Uh, this is the kind of final touches for the desk. I've got a PC case to get for it, and then kind of the desk's finished, and we can just uh, get back to gaming more. So, really appreciate it. See you all in the next one, and have a good one.